Today we're going to read this story, From Seed to Plant, written by Gail Gibbons. As we read the story, I'm going to pause so I can show you some of the seeds and plants that I have grown. From Seed to Plant, by Gail Gibbons. Most plants make seeds. A seed contains the beginning of a new plant. Look at all these beautiful plants. We have a tulip, a daisy, a rose, it's a pea plant, a buttercup, and corn. Seeds are different shape, sizes, and colors. All seeds grow into the same kind of plant that made them. Look at all those seeds. They are so different. See big ones and fluffy ones, spiky ones, itty bitty ones. This is a sunflower seed. So a sunflower seed can only grow into a sunflower. There's an acorn. Acorns can only grow into oak trees. Lazar has a bunch of seeds that I'm planting in my garden. I wanted to show you the different ones I have. We have sunflower, onions, squash, cucumbers, lettuce, carrots, peppers, broccoli, and radish. Do they look the same? No, they're all different. They're different colors, sizes, and shapes. Many plants grow flowers. Flowers are where most seeds begin. There's a zinnia, an apple tree, dandelion, and aster. A flower is made up of many parts. Right here we have the stem, and these green parts on the side are called a sepal. The sepal is what protects the flower when it's a bud. When the flower starts to bloom, the sepal actually supports the petals. All these pink parts, that's the petal. The center of the flower is called a pistil. At the bottom of the pistil, are tiny egg cells called ovules. The sticky part at the top of the pistil is called a stigma. The parts of the flower around the pistil are called the stamen. The stamen make yellow powder called pollen. Before a seed can grow, a grain of pollen from the stamen must land on the stigma at the top of a pistil of a flower just like itself. This is called pollination. Can you say that with me? Pollination. Yeah. Pollination can happen in different ways. Often wind blows pollen from flower to flower. Bees. Other insects and hummingbirds help pollinate too. While they visit flowers for their sweet juice called nectar, pollen rubs onto their bodies. They're just taking a little drink of that nectar. So is the hummingbird. And look what's happening. The pollen is sticking to her belly. Then they carry the pollen to another flower where it comes off onto the pistil. So the bee just went and goes to the next one. Same with the hummingbird. Drink, drink, drink. If pollen grain from a flower lands on the pistil of the same kind of flower, it grows a long tube through the pistil into an ovule. This is the beginning of a seed. The seeds grow inside the flower, even as a flower begins to die. As seeds become bigger, a fruit or a pod grows around them. The fruit or pod protects the seed. It's a pod. Inside are the seeds. This is the beginning of the fruit. 
When the fruit or pod ripens, it breaks open. The seeds are ready to become new plants. Some seeds will fall to the ground around the base of a plant where they will grow. They just drop down and a new plant's gonna grow right there. Some pods or fruit open and the seeds pop out. Sometimes when birds eat berries, they actually drop the seeds. Look at that, he's bringing the berries away. Seeds are dropping. Other seeds fall into streams, ponds, rivers, or the ocean. There, they travel on the water until they stick to dirt along the shore. The wind scattered seeds. Some seeds have fluff on them that lets them float to the ground like tiny parachutes. Others have wings that spin as they fall. Have you seen these kinds of seeds before? Mm-hmm. How about this one? Spinning. Animals can help scatter seeds too. They might hide acorns and nuts in the ground. Some seeds have hooks that stick to the fur of animal or people's clothes. Later, they drop off to the ground. What a great way to help pollinate. A flower bed or a vegetable garden is beautiful. Seeds are planted to grow in gardens. The seeds come in small envelopes or boxes. Directions explain how to plant the seeds and care for the plants. I'd like to show you some of my seeds. This is an envelope of cucumber seeds. Broccoli seeds. On the back are all the directions. Carrot seeds. Side. Take a look. Lots of carrot seeds in there. All seeds have their different pouches and directions on the back of how to plant them. The beginning of a plant is curled up inside of each seed. Food is stored inside the seed too. The seed has a seed coat on the outside to protect it. Take a look at some of these seeds. That's a squash seed. It has a hard seed coat. A seed will not sprout until certain things happen. First, it must be on or in soil. And then it needs rain to soak the seed and soften its seed coat. I want to stop here for a second because I want to show you the inside of a seed. I wanted to see if we could take a closer look at some squash seeds. I have a seed right here that I took directly out of the package. Now this seed is pretty hard. That's the seed coat that protects the inside. I wanted to see if we could get a better look at the inside and if I could soften that seed coat. So I put two seeds inside of a wet paper towel. And as you can see, you can start to see the inside. It's getting darker and guess what? It's softer too. I wanted to see if we could get a better look at that inside. So I took off the top of the seed coat and inside that's the food. Here's the seed coat and as you can see it's pretty soft. And there's the food that's inside ready for that plant. How cool. When the sun shines and warms the ground, the seed coat breaks open and the seed begins to grow. This is called germination. Can you say that with me? Germination. A root grows down into the soil 
The root takes in water and minerals from the soil for food. Get those roots. Up grows a shoot. Green leaves grow up from the shoot towards the sun. The plant grows bigger and bigger. The, plant, the leaves make food for the plant from the water and minerals in the soil and the sunlight and the air all around the plant. Finally, the plant is full grown. Buds on the plant open into flowers where new seeds will grow. Now look at those buds and flowers. Many of the foods people eat are seeds, fruits, and pods. They are full of nutrition, vitamins, and minerals, and they're tasty too. Look at all those. Do you eat some of these? Me too. I want to show you some seeds that I have growing in different stages. I'd like to see if you can see, you might be able to see germination and the roots of one of my plants. You'll see some shoots and leaves, and you'll see them growing bigger and bigger. Come on, take a look. Here's some plants I have growing for my garden. Let's take a closer look. Here we have squash. There's two seeds growing in this pot. This one already grew the shoot or the sprout. I see three leaves reaching for the sun. Over here is a seed that's germinating. I don't know if you can see, but on that edge, that's the seed coat. It got soft and it's starting to come off. And there's a part that goes up and around and back down into the ground. That's the roots growing in. This is so cool because I barely get to see seeds germinating. Over here, we have the sprout of a kohlrabi plant. It's a very thin shoot, but there's also three leaves growing up to the sun. This plant's a little bit bigger than the others. This is a tomato plant. It's actually a seedling. It started off as a seed, grew into the sprout, and now it's a seedling. Once it starts growing more leaves, it's gonna become a young plant. And then it'll grow more leaves and become an adult plant. And by then, I'm hoping I'll have some lovely tomatoes. Gail Gibbons gave us a really cool experiment we could try at home. It's a From Seed to Plant project. How to raise bean plants. Step one, find a clean glass jar. Take a piece of black construction paper and roll it up. Step two, slide the paper into the jar and fill the jar with water. Step three, wedge the bean seeds between the black paper and the glass and put the jar in a warm place. Step four, in a few days, the seeds will begin to sprout. Watch the roots grow down, the shoots will grow up. Step five, caring for your bean plants. Put dirt into a big clay pot. Step six, carefully remove the small plants from the jar, glass jar. Place them in the soil, covering them up to the base of their shoots. Step seven, water them and watch them grow. Seeds and plants, seeds and plants. Scientists who study plants are called botanists. Some seeds sprout only in the heat of a forest fire. Some plants live for only one season. They're called annuals. Other plants die at the end of a season, but they grow back the following years. They are called perennials. Plants in desert, such as cactus plants, can store water in their stems. They can live for a long time without rain. Mountain plants are short. Now 
always. The wind can't blow them over. Plants move. Mm -hmm. Many flowers open in the morning and they shut at night. Some close when it rains. Also, plants move towards the light. Some plants eat insects. These plants live in soil that doesn't have enough minerals for food. The biggest flower in the world grows on an island of Sumatra. It can weigh up to 25 pounds and can be four feet across. That's huge. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you got some inspiration so maybe you can start your own gardening.